So we're showing a new television audio system based on the recently published MPEG-H audio standard. This new system to be introduced in uh, television systems of the future will offer viewers three new features. We'll have immersive sound to increase the realism of broadcasts, offering sound from overhead speakers or from mainstream consumers from 3D sound bars. We'll also have interactivity. Viewers at home will be able to adjust the volume of elements of the audio in their television programs. For example, uh, they may turn the commentary up or down in order to uh, better understand the announcer or perhaps to have more of a live feeling to the experience at a sports broadcast. Uh, in the future, new audio elements will be added through these interactive features uh, using audio objects. For example, in our demonstrations, we've shown the ability to listen to a race car driver talk to a pit crew or to have a home uh, commentary as well as one for the away team. The third feature that we'll be bringing is universal delivery. Television audio will no longer be just to the television set in your living room, but will be to all of the devices on which you can consume media. Mobile devices such as tablets, mobile phones, kitchen TVs, or uh, complete and elaborate home theaters. So MPEG-H will bring these features to consumers while maintaining uh, compression efficiency uh, in order to allow broadcasters to add new elements without taking additional bandwidth. And of course, Fraunhofer will be bringing the tools to broadcasters to enable this to happen. So for example, behind me, we have our new younger audio MPEG-H audio monitoring and authoring unit that helps broadcasters create the content with these new interactive features using their existing audio consoles. So in our demonstrations here at IBC 2015, we're showing how consumers of the future will be able to manipulate the audio elements in their broadcasts. So for example, I can just pick up the remote control and if I'd like the host to be a little louder in this program, I just turn him up. If I want the guest to be a little softer, I just turn him down. And we can do this uh, for our enthusiast viewers by allowing them to manipulate the audio elements and make their own audio mix within limits set by the broadcaster. Or for your casual viewers, we have presets available that are prepared presentations so they can have a, a live mix. They can have one with a little extra commentary if they are uh, if it's hard to understand the uh, announcer, or they can have the traditional broadcast mix. So for casual viewers, uh, preset presentations, and for your enthusiasts, they can make their own uh, audio mix to their liking. So in addition to the younger audio monitoring and authoring units that we need for creating content, we're also showing real-time encoding and decoding of MPEG-H to show that it's ready to use for trials as new application standards such as ATSC 3.0 begin to be deployed.